Hello, I'm Eric Hollenbeck, Director of Percussion Studies at Colorado State University. In this video, I'm offering help in preparing the snare etude for the 2014-15 Colorado All-State Band and Orchestra Percussion Auditions. The snare etude is from Anthony Cerrone's Portraits and Rhythm, etude number five. The most challenging part of etude number five is in the rhythm, in particular lines seven and eight, and you'll spend most of your time preparing seven and eight. To create a solid rhythm in line seven and eight, I would create a recording using um, software notation um, or you playing, and I would um, go to seven, line seven, and uh, play a couple counts of eighth note triplets followed by sixteenths that follows the rhythm of the piece. And that way you can practice along to it to really ensure that you're lining up. Uh, slow it down and work each bar until you have it lining up consistently. In line seven, try not to slow down measure three and four. And the first two measures of line eight also would like to slow down. So keep those moving. Dynamics are all at the forte range, mezzo forte, forte, fortissimo, and fortissimo, except for eight notes that are piano. So most of your playing lies in the upper range. I would expand the range a little bit uh, by slightly softening forte and mezzo forte to allow fortissimo and fortistissimo to have more room. Be careful not to add accents to the beginning and ending of rolls. Make sure the rolls have only about three or four notes in each stroke. Try not to overpress the roll and kill the ring of the head. I think a 16 bass works well for all the rolls. I play the four stroke roughs in line four as a right, left, left, right sticking, which is a little easier to play them softer um, than to play them alternating. Be careful not to accent the flams at the end of line four and the beginning of line five. Understand what each hand needs to do in the 16 flam figures. Play without flams and then create the same sound in the rhythm with the flam. All drags need to be interpreted consistently. So this attitude is really an exercise in consistency. Consistency of tempo, consistency of dynamics and embellishments. Good luck and practice with a metronome.